This is a quick run through of the PCF App Autoscaler CLI. First, we'll need to download the CLI plugin from PivNet. Select the correct plugin for your OS. And then once you have the plugin downloaded, using the CF install plugin command and the path to the plugin you downloaded, install the plugin. Once you have the plugin installed, you can use the CF plugins command to view all of the commands for the Autoscaler CLI. You can also get these commands by doing a CF help. You can enable autoscaling on an app by using the enable autoscaling command and then set up your autoscaling limits. In this case, we'll use one instance as the minimum and eight as the maximum. Now we'll create some autoscaling rules. For this first one, we'll use HTTP throughput with 24 as the minimum threshold and 25 as the maximum. And then we'll add a CPU rule. You can also do this by using the configure autoscaling command and reference an autoscaling manifest. Now we can view the rules we've created. Let's say we want to change that HTTP throughput rule. To do so, we'll have to delete the rule by referencing the GUID for that rule. We can view our rules to verify that it has been deleted, and then create a new version of that rule with the desired minimum and maximum thresholds. Now let's view the autoscaling events that have occurred on this app. No rules have been triggered, so let's go ahead and change that HTTP throughput rule again and make it a little bit more strict so that we can initiate some scaling. Now when we run the autoscaling events command again, we'll see that the app has been scaled up based on the HTTP throughput. Let's assume now that the traffic has calmed down a bit on the app and it begins to scale down. For more information, please see the Autoscaler and Autoscaler CLI documents at docs.pivotal.io.